In this lesson, we explore some ways to customize the interface to our preferences. The first thing we will look at is to customize the ribbon. Let us look at a case where you want to modify the tab sequence on the ribbon. The current sequence of tabs is task, resource, report, project. Now, say you don't want the report tab here and you want it placed further down the line. To do this change, you can first right click anywhere on the ribbon and choose customize the ribbon and the project options dialog box opens up. You can see in the right hand side box is the listing of the main tabs on the ribbon. All you have to do now is to select the report row and click the down arrow bringing it to the location that you prefer. When you click OK, you can now see the report tab has been moved further down the line to its new location and nothing else has changed. You still have the same controls available as before in all the tabs. Only the order has changed. Suppose you want to add a new tab of your own where you can place all the command buttons that you most frequently use in one single tab. You can do that by going back to the customize the ribbon option and in the dialog box choose new tab. When you click it you can see a custom tab and a custom group were created together. The first thing that you will want to do is to rename them appropriately. I will give their names as learn good and my fast buttons. Now on the left hand side box I can choose the commands that I use the most and add them to the group that I created. Just make sure the correct tab and group is kept selected. Before you exit this dialog box, make sure your tab is placed properly in the list. I will move them to one end here and click OK button. Now I have added four command buttons to my custom tab. If you don't need the tab anymore, you can always choose to remove it from in the same method. There is an even faster way to get access to your most used commands and that is through customizing the quick access toolbar. This area on the top here is called the quick access toolbar and it is designed to provide exactly what its name suggests, a quick access to your favorite commands. When you find a favorite command, just right click it and then click add to quick access toolbar. Now the command is only a click away. There will be some commands that you cannot directly right click. If you frequently create PDFs or do something else that requires going to the file tab, here's how to add that command to the quick access toolbar. Click customize the quick access toolbar and then click more commands. In the choose commands from list, click commands not in the ribbon. Scroll down, select publish as PDF or XPS and click add. Do not forget to click OK. And now you can see the PDF button is available on the quick access toolbar. When a command is no longer your favorite, you can remove a command by right clicking it on the quick access toolbar and then clicking remove from quick access toolbar. To conclude, in this lesson we saw multiple ways in which you can customize the command interface, adding, modifying both the ribbon and quick access toolbar. As you get more familiar working with project 2013, you will want to set things up exactly the way you like and project makes it very easy to do so.